Hey guys, so I want to show you something interesting about JavaScript. In JavaScript, there's an object called object. And as you may know, uh, some of the things are defined as functions. All functions are objects in JavaScript. So for example, let's create a new function. Func uh, function. So I have just created a new um, function and it's called func but it can also be used as a constructor too you can call it right away and put anything in there but in its initial form it can also be used as a constructor and I'll explain what I mean for example let's create a second one and call it const same thing exactly the same thing Constructors, the only difference you know, probably is the uppercase C. When it's just a function, it can be start, the name of a function can be start with a lowercase f, f, u, and c. But in particular, when you're creating a constructor, you want to make the first letter uppercase. It doesn't really matter, it will still work if it's not, but it's just the standard JavaScript uh, rule that um, you create constructors with uppercase, the first letter, uh, make it uppercase. As an example, for example, A, you can do something like this, new function. So in this case, somebody already created a constructor, just like in this case, but they named it function. So somewhere out there, this already exists, except there is more stuff in here. But that's already done for us in the background by JavaScript. So this already exists somewhere out there. That's why we're able to create something like this. Or for example, new date. The date object already exists as well. There's a constructor to it there is some stuff inside of that function. That's what allows us to, to do the date functionality uh, on date object. But in the same way, this is our constructor right here. In the same way, we can do something like C new and use our own constructor that we just created right here. So in the same way, we just created a uh, an object like any other object except now it's ours it's custom and we can add anything anything to it inside so we create a new instance of that object and place it into C so the interesting part about JavaScript is that there is any other constructor function date this is ours, uh, or any other one that people usually use. There's a string, there is a array, um, there's some other ones. But at the top level, there's an object called object. So someone created the object constructor just like this and put a lot of stuff in there, or maybe nothing. Maybe it's just an empty object. Uh, I'm really not sure. There's probably nothing there. But it is a constructor, just like, and it's a function, just like we created here. And automatically, JavaScript, it never tells you, but it's something you should know. At the top level, the object object is always uh, the first object. All other objects are copied from derived from you can say to demonstrate this let's take a look at this example there's another concept called prototype so prototype allows us to do basically something like this what we did with this attach a new uh, let's say I want it to be a function I want it to be a method so I'll make it a function and alert message. So now that I created this C object, I can call 
message on it and let's see what happens it pop up alert box and it said message right here uh, we added msg to the uh, constructor const we created a new object of type const of this new type that we created ourselves and we call this method that we just added here there's something interesting about the object object that already exists in JavaScript. And we'll take a look at that right now. For example, let's say, let's say in the beginning, we're going to use, um, we're going to add something to the object object in the same way that we did here but we're going to use prototype and prototype property is used for adding properties to objects so basically what I'm doing here So what I've done here through prototype and MSG, I just added MSG function to the main object constructor. And this means that now this MSG is going to be available not only in constructor, but also in date and function because function comes from the object object they can look it up and date the same thing they can look up what's in object and what's an object we just added it here so for example if I go a MSG remember we never added anything to function constructor we only added it to object prototype message now we're calling this function msg which is going to be this and the way that happens is a is going to look inside function constructor to see if there's a method called msg it's not going to find it there so it's going to look in the root object msg it's going to find it there and it's going to call this this one let's take a look so we're calling msg on a even though we never added it here but we did add it to the object uh, constructor through prototype so I'm gonna run this the same thing message uh, in comparison to previous example this one ran from constructor but now it's a different one it's this one we're calling the function but because we attach it to object prototype uh, it's available from all of them not just a let's take a look at B B which is the date run it and again we see the message alert just generate here so again what happens is we never attach anything to date constructor so it's going to look there and not going to find MSG it doesn't find it there so it goes one level up and one level up is the object because all of these constructors are come from this one so they look it up in the object prototype and they do find it and they fire it up and that's how this message gets generated just so um, so you can see that it's it's not this one but this one prototype let's see uh, ABC D message run it again so you can see prototype it displays this now what's going to happen if I run message on constructor because we do have msg here in this constructor in our own constructor so what's going to happen if i call it from c run alert box return message it returned this one but why why didn't it return this one well like we just said it's because if it does find it in original constructor then it's going to fire that it's not going to look any further if it's not there as it is in the case of function and date 
it's not going to find it there. It's going to look for object in, uh, for the same method name in the object uh, constructor. And it's going to find it there because we added it there. And it's going to fire this one. So I hope it explains a lot of things about how prototype works and how constructors work. And I'll see you in the next tutorial.